For over 25 years, Sister Maureen Kelleher has defended the rights of undocumented immigrants in the Immokalee region. Working predominantly with women and children, often the victims of domestic violence, Kelleher goes far beyond her responsibilities as the managing attorney of Legal Aid Services of Collier County. As both a respected lawyer and a Catholic nun, her legal work seamlessly complements her responsibilities as a sister of the Sacred Heart of Mary. The church is trying very hard to get even Washington to listen and to get people out of the shadows, get people their papers. They're here, they're working, they pay their taxes, they're going to be reviewed, they're going to be fingerprinted. So we're not talking about a criminal class because they'll never get through once they tr apply and they're fingerprinted. As a veteran immigration attorney, Sister Kelleher has encountered countless cases concerning everything from residency status to human trafficking. Of particular interest to her are the scant options facing graduating undocumented high school students. The DREAM Act, a bill introduced in Congress in March of 2009, would offer them hope. They basically says if a child's here before age 16 and graduates from our schools, high schools, and at that time will either go into the military or go into further education like community college or university. After they complete two years, they not only have the temporary card for those first two years, but they could get a right to apply for permanent card. Now I'll tell you where it's at right now. Private monies are coming behind some of these students, and these students are able to get themselves private scholarships. And out of this tan, we've had someone go all the way through Dartmouth. Despite support from Pentagon officials, eager to tap into a vast new demographic of potential military recruits, the DREAM Act ranks low on the congressional agenda, and there is little indication as to when it will be addressed. Nonetheless, exceptional students have overcome the odds and managed to enroll at a college or university. I was pretty much in limbo, you know, like I have all this, you know, credits, I had all these AP classes, a high GPA, I graduated with a 5.3 GPA, and um, pretty okay SAT scores. And so I came to that point where I'm like, okay, you know, I have all of this, but I really want to pursue that dream. I really want to go to college. And right now, all the doors are closed. And so, you know, all of a sudden, you know, I really thank God, you know, it's, a, it's just the divine thing that happened that um, um, thanks to these people that were surrounding me and that appreciated all the hard work that I was doing, kind of helped me out, you know, getting through all this uh, college process. And then college came out and offered a scholarship and, you know, I was able to go in. For Sister Kelleher, the DREAM Act is a long overdue and exceedingly necessary amendment to U.S. immigration laws. She sees it as an opportunity for undocumented residents to lead productive and fulfilling lives. It's hard, but I'm just very thankful that I'm there. Every single day I'm there, I just love it. You know what I mean? I, I do the best I can. You know, it's a, for me, it's a privilege. You know, for me, waking up every day at that dorm, it's just a huge privilege, you know, and I thank God every day to allowed to be in there.